Okay, chapter eight introduces us to hypothesis testing, but they've actually been building us towards hypothesis testing since all the way back in chapter one. In chapter one, they introduced the idea of statistical significance. And that is we have a statistically significant event when we have an event that has a very low probability of occurring and they have been using 5% or less and also something that is far away from what was expected. So back in chapter one, they had us go through this idea, but they provided us the probabilities. In chapter four, five, and six, we learned about probabilities and when we learned about probabilities, we revisited this again, and they gave us the rare event rule for inferential statistics. And this says, if under a given assumption, the probability of our observed, our sample result is small, and it's significantly more or less than what we typically expect, then we conclude the assumption is probably not correct. And again, they gave us these rules here for determining what was significantly high and significantly low, and that was probabilities less than or equal to 5%, although at this point they went ahead and told us that we may see other values. But again, low probability equals significance. We get low probability when our sample result is far from what we expect. And so we've been building through this entire class for this moment for hypothesis testing. And they start us out in hypothesis testing by introducing us to the idea of a hypothesis. Hypothesis is simply a claim or a statement made about a property of the population. So we're gonna make claims about the population, specifically in chapter eight, we're going to make claims about population means, population proportions, population standard deviations. And these claims are going to set the basis for what our given assumption is. And then we're going to go ahead compute a probability based on the sample data, make a decision relating back to the claim here. So we've been all along the class building us up to this idea of a hypothesis test. Now in chapter eight, they're going to formalize what the process is for it. Now, There is Triolo's version of the process. He runs eight steps. And the one that I'm going to show you back over here, and sorry if I'm giving you some motion sickness with all the movement, I run this through in six steps. But what you're gonna see is that the first three steps of triola is just really the equivalent of my first step there. The other difference that you will see between what I do in triola is he splits this apart looking at two different methods, the critical value method and the p-value method. I'm focused strictly on the p-value method. When you're using technology, you get both, but what you're gonna see is that reaching the conclusion using the p-value is a lot easier. We'll still see examples walking it through both ways. It's, you know, p-value method, critical value method, it's like comparing temperatures in Celsius comparing temperatures in Fahrenheit. If one place is warmer, it's gonna be warmer no matter which temperature you're using. And what we're also going to get in 
this section is, you know, we are going to go ahead, see the different things about how we would do this by hand. That gives us a good conceptual overview of what's going on. And then when we get into the later sections of chapter eight, the next sections of chapter eight, when we're doing full hypothesis testing in 8.2 on proportions, in 8.3 on means, in 8.4 on standard deviations, then we'll be using technology to go ahead and handle everything. But 8.1 is to set a solid foundation for what the process is. And one of the reasons that it's so important to get the process down is this is the process that's used not only for the hypothesis test in chapter eight, but any hypothesis test. The ones that we cover in the rest of the class, the ones that we don't cover in the rest of the class, anything out there in the world follows What did I do? There we go, sorry. Anything that we do is going to follow this process for carrying out a hypothesis test.